get uh, started. Okay, let's let's pray. Um, Father, we thank you. Father God, we thank you that uh, that we have you as our heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, that uh, Lord, you look at us and you value us, and you, uh, Lord, give us purpose. Lord, you give us meaning. And uh, Father God, we thank you that we can use the same yardstick, oh God, the same same measurement, oh Father God, um, Lord, when we evaluate our lives, Father God. And we know that uh, that is uh, the most accurate one. And so, God, we choose to do that, Lord, and uh, help us to have those eyes, Father God, even right now. Help us to have those eyes, Father God. Help us to have that uh, same kind of thinking, O oh God. Um, uh, I pray that uh, you will renew, that we will renew our thinking to yours, Father God. Um, yes, Master, even right now as we pray, Father God, Lord, um, sometimes we are in that uh, we are in that cycle of uh, negative thinking. We are in that cycle of, uh, Lord, uh, uh, thoughts of unbelief and patterns of unbelief. Father God, I pray that that will change. Master, we pray that even as we yield, even as we expose ourselves to your presence, even as we expose ourselves to the truth of your word, God, I pray that uh, that will change. That will change, oh Father God, and that will change dramatically. And I just pray right now for uh, those things that are so ingrained in us, or those um, thought patterns that are so ingrained in us. And I just pray in the name of Jesus, let it be uprooted right now. Let it be uprooted right now. Whatever is causing those thought patterns to be there, what is causing those cycles to, to stick in our minds, I just pray right now that uh, you've lost your power. I just declare right now that you have no right. You've lost your power. And whatever is uh, energizing that, in the name of Jesus, we break it. In the name of Jesus, we break that chain. In the name of Jesus, we break that cycle of shame and defeat. In the name of Jesus, we break it. We speak right now that we are set free. We are liberated. We are redeemed. We are raised and we are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you've called us, O oh God, and you've given us purpose, Father God. And what a joy it is, Lord, to be co-heirs with Christ, to be seated in the heavenly places, Father God. We thank you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. We thank you that you lead us into all that you have for us. You, you lead us and you show us, O oh God, all the good things, Father God, all the things that have been freely given to us in Christ. And Lord, Holy Spirit, God, Holy Spirit, we thank you that you continue to reveal these to us. And may we be so diligent and careful to hold on to these things and um, walk in them, Lord. Every truth that you reveal, Lord, we pray that we will walk in it, O oh God. We thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Awesome. Let's uh, let's continue from where we uh, stopped last uh, last week, last class. Okay, we were looking at uh, sermon construction, and uh, we we finished that right. We finished the mechanics of sermon construction. Okay. Now, um, how many of us? One, two, three, fifteen plus four. Twenty of us are here. Uh, oh no, actually eighteen plus twenty. Uh, Twenty-three of us. Um, Twenty-four. One more person joining. So the thing is, uh, I see that the sermon topic um, uh, is not really filled up. Okay, um, there are only eighteen, and I have. I see twenty-three of us in class. So, um, so what I thought was that uh, we just go to that page right now. Uh, I'm going to uh, just present that, and uh, let's let's finish it before we go further. Okay. Um, okay, can everyone see this? Okay, I'm just gonna take. Okay, so there it is. Okay, um, is Felix there? Felix, are you there? Um, Felix, if you're there, if you can just put it on the chat also. I'm just gonna ask a few questions about your sermon topic. So the dew of heaven. Uh, so, Felix, can you just explain to us, uh, you know, what exactly you have in mind? Is uh, Felix there? Okay, I'm not able to see the entire, um, you know, everyone. Okay. Okay, let's uh, move on. Um, 
Okay, Tarun, uh, Tarun is there. Tarun, you're going to speak on hearing from God. And so, you, uh, have you decided on a title, sermon title? Um, I will add, Pastor. I'm just thinking. And... You're thinking about it. Okay, okay, yeah. fine. Okay, good. Um, okay, Abhishek has got uh, the sermon topic, Love of God. There's one more, which is uh, similar to that, which is God's Love by Abraham. Okay, number 14. So um, I just hope that uh, both of you gentlemen are sharing on different facets of the love of God. OK, so what will help is a sermon title. So Abhishek, if you can uh, let us know what is the sermon title, please. If you actually, Pastor, uh, yeah. I didn't uh, think about the title, but I will later I will put it there. Mm, because uh, if you do that, then it will also help Abraham. Uh, and also yeah. help you. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm Abhishek. Thinking, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's good. Um, okay. Subhajit, Word of God. Um, the voice of his word is the title. Okay. Fine. Um, is Rose in class? Rose. Uh, hi, Pastor. I'm here. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Morning, Rose. So you've uh, got the humility of a servant king so as a sermon topic. Yeah. So uh, would you have a sermon title also ready? I'm playing around titles, Pastor, so I'll fill it in later. Okay, okay, because that will also give clarity and direction to your message, so that's why. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Pastor. Yeah. Okay, uh, so Beth, uh, Beth is in class. Beth, thank you for sharing that. Uh, praise God. Um, uh, you've got uh, the sermon topic as peace and faith, okay? Um, so the sermon title is, How is Faith Connected with Peace? Okay, um, so uh, that's that's nice. Uh, how is faith like a question? Um, and I, I guess it's for uh, a congregation that is uh, which is primarily Christian, right? Um, uh, like one way of uh, making it creative would be, you know, I'm just typing it here um, next to your title. Um, oops. Okay would also be to, and I'll just put it here, uh, you know, faith, put it like this visually, faith plus peace equals, you know, something like this. Formula, right? Um, and uh, I know you can't always, uh, you know, like say it out, but faith plus uh, off, uh, you know, uh, or you can just call it, uh, you know, some formula and then put it like this. So this is also, you know, very intriguing. Uh, of course, you always want to you want to talk about this, um, or any other way, right? So, just a thought there. Okay. Um, Thank you. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So, Charles. Um, yeah, Charles. So, your your message is about bearing fruit, being fruitful, and uh, so your title is which fruit or what fruit are you bearing? Is it? Um, Um, okay, so yeah, you're satisfied with the title, Charles? Okay, I'm still just... confused. Don't know the difference between title and the and topic. It's like now I was thinking of is mm. now which fruit are you bearing the the topic and then. The title the other way I was I'm not yet certain on on mm. what to press under which. So I still need okay. your help, Pastor. Okay, sure. Yeah. So sermon topic, bearing fruit, I guess you're going to talk about productivity, being fruitful in life in general. You know, you could take all those uh, approaches or uh, or being specific, you know, being fruitful in ministry, uh, you know, something like that. Or it could be you know, generally being fruitful and how God, uh, God's will is for us to be fruitful and for us to thrive and what goes into that, etc. And so the sermon title can be, you know, accordingly, uh, uh, you know, modified. So which fruit are you bearing is very, very specific, right? It says, you know, what kind of, you know, what is the end result of your life? Um, so you can, you could work on that. You could, you know, modify it, um, make it a little more creative, um, so that 
the listener or the one who sees it um, you know is is curious enough to click on it or curious enough to want to you know uh, hear that message so yeah you can yeah you can work on that uh, but bearing fruit if it's if it's something that you want to go with that's absolutely good uh, that's absolutely fine okay so sam um, sam is a uh, uh, christian's non conforming lifestyle so um, so i guess you're talking about a consecrated life so set apart is a sermon title okay fine uh, set apart is okay that's good uh, that's a good title by itself but do you want to make it even more um, you know uh, saying you can a little more impactful set apart is good by itself uh, but uh, you can you know if you choose to improve on it you can um, dinesh is pinnacle of faith okay so pinnacle of faith um, so i guess the sermon topic is faith right uh, you're talking about faith and uh, about reaching uh, uh, you know growing in faith or reaching some you know somewhere in faith um is that what it is the pinnacle of faith uh, um um uh, sermon uh, title uh, it uh, is a um, uh, pinnacle of faith uh, Uh, okay. Uh, interchange. Okay. Uh, fine. Fine. Uh, I got it. Um, okay. So, um, so this is uh, pinnacle of faith is the sermon title. Uh, okay. I'm okay. just going to add that in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so, so here you're going to talk about the connection between prayer. So, can you just explain that? What is the content of the sermon, please? So, first uh, of all, um, uh, prayer is um, uh, base on mm. uh, prayer. Once do uh, uh, prayer, uh, uh, believe uh, uh, again, believe mm. and hope and faith. Please, okay, please. things uh, mm-hmm. are connected with prayer uh, be, believe the uh, once to uh, prayer is not if uh, enough uh, uh, okay we need to... i got it dinesh thanks thanks and... thanks yeah i got it i got it so uh, prayer the connection between faith hope uh, and prayer uh, so i was just a little uh, confused between you know believe and faith uh, because that is um, you know to have be one and the same right to believe and to have faith um okay so uh, yeah i got it so that's fine thanks uh, thank you dinesh so that's good uh, so prabhaka is uh, presenting ourselves as a wholesome sacrifice to god so again uh, a message on um uh, uh, like setting apart consecrating ourselves um right and then ideal sacrifice or idol sacrifice okay hmm okay that's uh, that's a play on words nice okay right prabhaka that's good um rupa is uh, yeah rupa uh, i just wanted to talk to you about that precious ornament to be worn and uh, the title is which is precious in god's sight so what what exactly do you want to talk about uh, rupa um sir yeah i wanted to highlight uh, first peter third chapter the fifth mm-hmm. verse the gentle okay. on the the spirit god uh, honors and which is first precious. peter chapter 3 and verse 5 okay okay um i'll just say that correct yeah yeah, yeah. okay so god also um, the, like uh, the holy women also trusted in god who also adorned themselves being submissive to the own husbands okay i just give you the right verse sir one second okay i think 3 i think it's 3 uh, onwards 3 to 5 yes 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 okay let your adornment be do not let your adornment be um, yeah, okay okay mm. okay so the sermon topic is about uh, the beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit okay mm, yes um, so i'll just change it that uh, mm. the beauty of a gentle um and quiet 
um, spirit. Okay? And uh, so sermon title, you can uh, make it, um, you know. Precious jewel or something like that, sir. Yeah, precious jewel. Yeah, yeah. something yeah, on those lines, right? Okay. okay. So I'll, I'll leave it to I'll you change to it. change it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so Mangi is talking about the holiness of God and uh, again, be holy as I am holy. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's nice. Um, Paisy, the importance of prayer in our lives and uh, the power of prayer. Okay. So Abraham is, uh, Abraham, are you in class? Um, Yes, uh, please, I'm here. Yeah, so, yeah, Abraham. So, you're talking about uh, God's love, and uh, I think Abhishek is also talking about uh, the love of God. So, um, uh, do you have a title in mind so we know uh, what direction you're taking? I I don't really know the difference between the the sermon topic and the title, but the idea I'm trying to convey is, um, you know, sometimes we are told to um, love people, but... If we understand the love of God, it will be easy for us to love people. So I'm conveying from the God aspect, I mean, the kind of love that God has bestowed upon us. Yeah, so the, uh, very quickly, the, the topic is the, the content of the message and the direction of the you know message. The, the actual content of the message is the topic. Like uh, everyone has listed, you know, the holiness of God, uh, prayer, God's love. So that's the, that's the content. So what you've put down is correct. Uh, the title is uh, is a little more focused and, uh, you know, about that particular message, you know, God's love, you can talk about a lot of things, right? You can talk about Thank sacrificial you. love, you can talk about a lot of things, but then here you're talking about lo loving God and loving people, right? The, how it's uh, uh, the, the practical aspect of it, like how God's love, with God's love, you need to love you. Uh, did I understand it right? Is that what you're... Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the title can be something on those lines. Okay. So that's okay. the title of the of the message. Right. So, I hope you uh, got that. Yes. Right. So yeah. So you can put that down. Okay. Yes, right. So Anita, um, bring the heaven down. Uh, is Anita here today? Um. Could you explain to us, Anita, if you're here? Bring the heaven down. Yeah, is it on revival? Is it on outpouring of the spirit? Um, um, let me check this. Exercising the authority. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah. Let's so let's put that. Um, exercising. Uh, oops, um, sizing um, our authority in God. Okay. Authority as believers. Okay, I'll just put it there for that. So bring, bringing heaven down. Okay, so um, any particular reason for this title? Is it like uh, uh, at the top of Mount Carmel calling down fire? Is that did that something that uh, is that something that helped you with the title? No. Okay. 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 Anyway, so that's uh, bringing heaven down. Bring heaven down, right? That's what you were saying. Okay. Um, okay. We'll go with that. Okay. Next, fear of the Lord. Okay, Avni, uh, and uh, okay, the source of all wisdom. Right. You can also have. Uh, um, you know, the place of uh, the, the start of wisdom or something like that. So source of all wisdom is also good. Or ancient wisdom, you know, keys, one of the keys of ancient wisdom. Those are all good uh, titles. Yeah. Okay. Healing uh, children's bread. Um, so, Beulah, um, so I, I guess you're talking about uh, how healing is, you know, really the portion, right, is is for the children. Yes. Yes, Pastor. Yeah. Okay. So it's so, part of the covenant and hmm. how it's our right to have healing. Right. Um, so how healing is. Uh, so um, so you can uh, choose the title something on those. Uh, or healing is the children's bread also is good. Um, right. That's good. 
uh, Kennedy living under the shadow of Jesus and the Christ centered life. Okay. Um, okay. I, I guess Christ centered life uh, really is a sermon uh, topic. And uh, yeah, but I, I guess it, it, here it seems to be interchangeable. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a, I mean, it is interchangeable, you know. Christ centered life also can be a sermon topic and a title by itself. So, uh, yeah, fine. Okay, so Maxon, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Maxon worship. Um, okay, so here's your, I'll just put it as worship. And only the living God should be worshipped. So you can work on the title. Okay, so you can, you know, make it uh, like uh, worship. Who, what, how, you know, that can be a title or, you know, uh, or if you want something uh, a little more traditional and uh, this thing, you can, you know, say, um, um, anyway, <laughs> nothing's coming to my mind right now, but you can use, you know, uh, any other approach also. Um, only the living God, should be, um, or maybe you can say, uh, and just just some thoughts here, right? Um, worship is for the the only one, or the one, or you know. I've heard this phrase used often: "Audience of one." Like. To whom the worship, who receives worship, right? So something on those lines. Okay, so we have 20 here. The others, um, uh, please go ahead and fill it up, okay? Because uh, um, you you can start preparing, okay? So um, so when we come next class, you could you could have a basic outline ready, and uh, I, I can uh, you know so that we can just pick a few from class to just uh, go through the basic outline. Basic outline would be of course a finalized uh, sermon topic, sermon title, and then you could have your you know the five main points that you want to talk about. Okay, so the five five main things that you want to talk about. So if it's God's love, though, you know it, it it can be like this. Let's say uh, who is it that's writing on. Uh, uh, sharing on God's love, it's Abraham. Okay, so Abraham is uh, talking about God's love. So, uh, so Abraham could have a sermon title like this. Okay, um, what is God's love? You know, an explanation, um, and then a second one, uh, the difference between God's love and man's love. You know, unconditional, uh, conditional performance-based love, um, and uh, maybe you can talk about you know the. The four different Greek words which define love, you know, storge, eros, filio, um, filo, uh, filio and, uh, and agape, something on those lines. Third way, third one, um, third point, you know, and, and on those lines, you have about, maybe if you want to have a three, three points, three main points or five main points. Okay, so I would say you have five, max of five main points. Um, that's the maximum. And uh, three points minimum. Is that okay? Five points max, three points, uh, the minimum of three points. Uh, anyway, I'll put this in the stream. And you can prepare for, okay, what would be a good duration? You know, let's make it, let's make it tough. You know, uh, let's look at another topic. Okay. Can you talk about um, I am a Christian's non-conforming lifestyle in ten minutes? Right. So we have about fifty minutes in the class. So maybe you know we open up with two minutes, and then if it's twelve minutes, we can we could have four people you know talk about it, you know, share their message. Okay. Let's shall so we go with twelve? What do you think? You can put your hands up if you think twelve is okay. Uh, how many for 10, 10 minutes? Okay, 12, Sam has put for 12. Um, how many of you think that 12 is okay? Okay, say 12, okay, Subhajit, 12. 12 is okay, decent, okay. I think most folks are okay with 12. Okay, 12 minutes. So, okay, so that's the duration. Right. 
Yeah. So even if you want to talk about, uh, you know, three points, if you want to share three points, you could take uh, maybe, you know, four minutes max for each point. Or So you have to, um, you know, uh, design or uh, write your outline accordingly. Okay. But, 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 but for the next session, just be prepared with, you finalize your topic, you finalize your t title, you know, what what is the scripture that you're going to be uh, you know, talking on. Uh, it could be one scripture or like a textual sermon, or it could be a passage, um, or it could be a topical sermon where, you know, just like how it, it's just based on the topic and there could be various other scriptures. Um, so, right. Okay. So, um, so please work on it. So we, when we meet again, uh, we'll, uh, we'll meet again on Friday, right? So we could, uh, yeah, we could, you know, I can ask some of you to just read out what you have. And, uh, and then, uh, so uh, it's, it's all leading up to, you know, um, uh, you, some of you, uh, all of you presenting what you prepared, right? And uh, which may not happen next class, but next class be ready with the outline and we can present, you can present it uh, the following class, which is on a mon on the, that Monday, right? Okay. Uh, and we'll kind of evaluate it and see where it goes. Okay. Okay, so uh, today's class, um, yeah, Sam, you have a question? Um, just to clarify, Pastor, um, so A is in that 12, so you're assigning 12 minutes to each of us yeah. to speak. So yeah. are we delivering a, a sermon in 12 minutes or walking you through like, uh, for my no, no, intro, no. I have this, for my outro? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, the, the entire <laughs> sermon is 12 minutes, yeah. The entire sermon is 12 minutes. Um, next class, we'll just discuss about the outline. The outline, we can take about five minutes to talk about the outline, you know. So okay, 12 so minutes is, class, uh, okay. yeah, so next, next class, class is about, sorry. Like five minutes to each person to explain how we've prepared our sermon. Yes, yes. So that's, uh, I hope that's clear. So 12 minutes. So which means, uh, you know, if you're going to be presenting, you know, don't take too much time. With, you know, I, I thank so-and-so for the opportunity. You know, there itself, you, you lose so much time. Or don't, uh, you know, go into praise the Lord, hallelujah, good morning. You know, just get into, uh, just say, hey, uh, nice to see you guys. And then just get into the message, right? Okay. Okay. So um, any, any other questions? Yeah, Chris. I, uh, Pastor, would you, uh, would, Pastor, would you to just uh, go through the dates again where, uh, with regards to uh, when the presentation okay. and when the outline yeah. needs to be uh, sure. Uh, done? Sure. Yeah. So the outline is, uh, you know, you, you have it on the next class. It's on 24th. Okay. So you have the outline ready. So this is, this is just the outline or the main points, right? You could have three points, five points, but it'll, um, you know, this is the outline, okay? And uh, 24th September, 27th, which is uh, Monday. Um, oh, sorry, uh, which is, uh, when, is that? when is our next class? 29th, okay. So we have it on 29th and 20. Uh, Every Wednesday and Friday, right? So uh, Wednesday 9th, um, you could be ready with the message. So it will be a random pick, okay? So you could be ready with the message, which is about 12. Okay, is that clear? Uh, and the outline is, uh, do we need to present it or do we need to just submit it to you? You, I mean, uh, you, 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 I mean, we can do a combination of both. You can just put it on the uh, chat as well, or uh, you know, you can put it on the, um, you know, on the stream. Um, so the outline will be put on the template. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. But um, just seeing, uh, mm, well, not necessary, Charles. I think we'll just talk about it. And uh, as long as you are ready with the outline, that's fine. You don't need to put it on the template. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So no more questions? Okay. Uh, I okay. have a question, Pastor. Yes, sir. Uh, now, if we are not putting it on the template, Mm -hmm. uh, what is the best way 
to to communicate with you and show you the outline because uh, as we are doing this construction of the of the sermon mm. uh, we need you, we need your your help in this so during the time when we do not have the class we mm-hmm. would put the outline uh, maybe you in one day or two you would do, check there and see and give a hint so that we we have a presentable thing that's what um, i was requiring okay no what what, what we we'll do is um, after you share the message you know we'll just give a feedback about that so i mean you absolutely have the flexibility with the outline um like based on what we have studied what we have seen so far so um so you you can go ahead and prepare it um i don't need to really get into the details but just for you to um you know understand what the uh, outline is so um once the message is shared then i can you know give a um feedback about it but if you must put the outline okay i guess we can use the same template also um okay so how do we use it uh, tar any ideas um should we just put it as uh, three columns or five columns and uh, um we can do it first we can create uh, yeah like five columns and, five uh, columns and put it there the... oh. yeah. yeah okay so uh, we already have uh, yeah sermon topic and sermon title as two columns so um so three uh, five more columns right you could have a maximum of okay so that's fine okay so so yeah so we'll put it there we'll add uh, yeah five more columns so you can either use three or five and uh, put your main points there fine so that will give a clear picture of yeah so it can be you know the outline you don't have to go into great details you just talk about what you're going to talk about just put it there saying okay this is what i'm going to talk about right um, okay is that uh, clear any other doubts okay uh, awesome. okay so let's um, let's look at different forms of um, delivery okay um you know there are different ways by which we can uh, you know share the word share the message of course for our presentation we just going to simply say it right uh, so that's the first one that we see uh, i'm on page 34 in the notes so we just simply going to say it speak it okay um, so i would say that we would just uh, all you know want of time and all that so since we are going to use 12 minutes we are just going to say it speak it okay so so that's one of the uh, you know usual methods of um, of preaching of or presenting um, the second one could be to dramatize it you know you you uh, the whole message this whole sermon is actually a uh, in a drama right in in drama form and which should also be a very very powerful way of uh, presenting it um and uh, i think uh, there's a there's a i'll probably share the link the one one called heaven's gates i think uh, which is a, used as a you know mainly for outreach and as, as evangelistic um, uh, sermon and uh, talks about the reality of heaven and hell and and so on uh, very powerful uh, powerfully portrayed so it can be uh, you can dramatize it it can be a drama uh, you know you can it can be enacted um it can be in story form i've been trying to find this uh, you know it was a wonderful uh, message uh, which again i saw on youtube but it was it was really about the story of uh, Uh, ruth um and how she travels uh, from uh, you know with her mother in law and it was like uh, it was the whole thing was a story and it was a very contemporary story right so the names were changed and uh, it was about uh, so the places were also you know places that we uh, know today and uh, it was a very very contemporary uh, especially in terms of employment where the person was working what they studied so it seemed like a you know story then just maybe 10 minutes into it or 12 minutes into it you realize that hey i've heard this before and then you make the connection that it's actually the story of ruth and um, so it was a very uh, i'm still trying to find that 
uh, find that video so we can, you know, probably uh, I can share it with you. Uh, so it can be in the story form. And story form, uh, obviously, very, very powerful. Um, you always remember the story. Um, you always remember, um, you know, you're, you're moved emotionally, uh, you know, when you hear a story. And uh, that's why, you know, cinema is a very powerful medium. It, it's all stories. And... Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so it can be a, a story form. It can be, uh, you can al also use props on stage. Um, and um, I, I was trying to find that video, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, there was this, uh, yeah, I think it was Bishop T.D. Jakes who comes in, a, you know, uh, army fatigues on stage. And there's a, there is a model of a tank which is on stage. And, uh, and the whole thing, the whole message is about, uh, you know, about battle, about a spiritual battle. So, uh, so you could have props on stage. Um, and recently, I think there was another church, I'll find that out, they actually went to great lengths um, to talk about, um, uh, I think it's about the storms in life, uh, a, a message on faith, basically, and overcoming faith. But uh, they created a set where there was water and, you know, and a boat and a very elaborate, uh, went to great lengths to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, so that can also be one way of doing it where we have uh, uh, props um, on stage to do it, right? Uh, and then singing it. Now, a lot of, um, you know, rural cultures, uh, traditions, they sing out the entire sermon. And, uh, you know, in I remember going to one such, uh, uh, or hearing one such sermon, and this was in my mother's village where we used to go for uh, summer vacation. And, uh, and one evening it was there and the whole, um, uh, whole story, uh, I think right from creation uh, up to uh, the cross and uh, what happened on the cross. And the whole story was told uh, in, uh, in song form. You know, there'll be uh, a, a poetic, poetry kind of narration and then a song. And the song describes you know, it's like a ballad. It's like, um, you know, it's it's like a country. You know, most of these country songs uh, or folk songs are, um, you know, like John Denver's Country Roads it talks about, uh, you know, it, it talks about I wish I was home, uh, you know, and uh, he talks about I hear my, uh, you know, this radio and playing. You know, he just kind of describes the whole scene uh, in a song, right? Most country songs are like that. So um, a song can be very descriptive. It can, you know, uh, convey the message, and it will work for certain uh, audiences which are um, you know, used to that kind of. It's an oral tradition, right, of uh, conveying a, a message. Um, visuals, of course, today uh, we can use technology to the best um, possible way. Um, visuals, PowerPoints, uh, video. Um, well, we recently had a presentation by Chris on, um, you know, on virtual reality, uh, immersive technology, where, you know, that can be used as well. Uh, where I'm just thinking, you know, maybe like holograms and, you know, all that uh, one day will be used for, you know, just like how we use pre PowerPoint presentations. And maybe, you know, it will be a hologram of, you know, Peter and, uh, you know, it will be so real, uh, you know, right there among the people um, to be able to watch Peter trying to walk on water and, you know, and slipping in and the Lord pulling him out and so on. So uh, I guess, you know, uh, we could use that. PowerPoints are uh, very helpful, but when we use it well, right, uh, um, it can even be a talk show. Now we tried that. Uh, we had that for one, uh, one, uh, one, I think it was an Easter a Resurrection Sunday service where it was a talk show, right? So, um, I think so, Prabhaka. Yes, your question is props on stage. Is it from Transformation Church? Welcome to the deep. I think so. I, I don't remember the title, but it's it has something to do with uh, water and and all that. You know, a lot of efforts taken, a lot of effort taken for that message. But uh, yeah, I guess it's it's that way. Uh, I, I, I think it's that. I'll try to pull out that video sometime. Okay, so we have all these methods, and um, and primarily we can, um, you know, we can either when it comes to you know uh, speaking it, saying it, uh, it can be a prophetic utterance, 
right? We we looked at several, you know, uh, ways like prophetic utterance. It can be a revelation, a teaching. Like Paul says, right? Well, how will it benefit you unless I bring it? And he talks about four ways, and we we looked at that. Uh, so a message can be preached, which means it can be declared, proclaimed, or it can be taught. Right. So, which is um, which is again uh, different, and and why is it different, and how is it different? Because we are there's a lot of explanation. We are looking at the working of uh, of the truth. You know, we're getting into the details of it, and maybe even asking rhetoric questions and trying to answer. Right. Uh, uh, Sorry, not rhetoric questions, but trying to ask questions about the particular uh, subject and answering those, right? And uh, so there's a lot more explanation and so on. Um, okay, I, I just have some uh, videos on preaching and teaching. You know, I think all of us understand that, but I just thought it, it'll be good to just see the, you know, the different styles. So let's let me just uh, play one, and then you could. Uh, Tell me what it is, okay? Whether it's preaching or teaching. Um, um, also, sometimes you know uh, we could have a mix of both. You know, certain sections could be preached in a message, certain sections could be taught as well, right? Okay, so let's um, let's see this. Um, okay. Or clear in Job, one of the oldest books, it says that how God speaks to us again and again. When you are sleeping, God speaks to you through dreams and visions. And God wants to talk to you and reveal your future so that you will be able to listen to him and do what God wants you to do. Now see, our God is a God who speaks. The point is, am I, are we listening to the voice of God? Are we busy with all our reasoning, rationalizations? We question, we argue, we debate, and we put off God's plan and God's wisdom in our lives. Many a times people lift up their education and they see, I am educated person. I am an educated person. I don't think God can speak to you. Okay. Okay, so, um, so that was one, okay? So let me just show uh, one more. I want to take two parallel passages. The first one is in Matthew chapter 6 verses 5 and 6. And Jesus says, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites. And then he describes how the hypocrites act. And then he says in verse 6, But when you pray, pray in this way. So he uses the phrase, when you pray, twice. The first time, he starts with a negative. Don't pray like the hypocrites. But he doesn't finish there. He ends with a positive, this is how you ought to pray. And we have actually devoted the last session to analyzing the pattern that he gave us. But now I want to move on in that same sixth chapter to verses 16 and 17. And here he introduces another dimension of prayer. And he says, Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites. But he doesn't stop with the negative. A lot of people think that's where he ends. But he goes on in the next verse, but when you fast, and then he tells us how to do it in a way that's acceptable to God. Now I think you can see there's a close... Uh, 
Okay. So, so what was the first one? I think it is very, um, very clear, right? The first message that we heard uh, on hearing God's voice was typically, uh, you know, a preaching, right? Um, it was a declaration, uh, you know, to inspire people, to motivate people, to spend time in his presence, to put away all distractions and so on. Um, yeah, that is Pastor Paul Tangaya uh, here in Bangalore uh, in one of the churches. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, a church called uh, FGAG, Full Gospel Assemblies of God Church. Okay, then the second one uh, is obviously it's a uh, it's a uh, definitely teaching, right? <laughs> it's looking at um, looking at you know uh, scripture, going into the nuances of uh, scripture, going into the details of how many times and you know and so on. Um, and we need both, right? We need both. And uh, Abraham, that was a very um, uh, a very useful, uh, you know, uh, synopsis. Uh, the goal of preaching is for the people to believe, and teaching is to help them obey after believing. Uh, I think that's uh, that's that's very helpful. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so preaching also, you know, uh, goes beyond just helping people to believe, uh, but also it's you know transformative, people to receive, um, uh, you know, and and it can also when they respond to the preaching, when we look at that, um, there can be, um, uh, you know, uh, so many, so much, you know, breaking of addictions and so on. Yeah, but the, I think that in a nutshell captures uh, preaching and teaching. So, so yeah, so um, it's wonderful. Uh, you know, some of us might lean towards, you know, uh, I, I think I, I, I remember having a conversation, oh, we're, we're almost done, um, conversation with someone that says, oh, I don't know, you know, this preacher, it's like, you know, I, they put me to sleep, I, I like some energy and, you know, in the preaching, well, uh, that's great, but we need both, right? We need the study, we need the uh, the inspiration and the motivation and the push to live a godly life, uh, you know, which, which which preaching does. So, yeah. So we need both, right? Okay. So thank you. I think that's all time we have today. So uh, thank you. Have a great time preparing the outline, and uh, we'll catch up on Friday with the outlines. You can put it on the uh, you know the sheet um, on, the, on the Google Sheet itself, right? Okay, thank you. Have a great day. God bless. Bye -bye. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you so much. Bye. Thank you.